this one. Hope appears on the horizon each morning in the form of a brand new day. A warm greetings to our beloved classmates, esteemed faculties, honorable principal ma'am, and dear parents. We, the students of grade 10, are proud to present the Republic Day Assembly 2022. I am Harsha Prada, and over to Mandana. We are ecstatic to be your host for this event. On the occasion of 73rd Indian Republic Day, let us celebrate the freedom to express and live our lives with pride. Let us salute our Mother India. Warm Republic Day wishes to every proud Indian here. To begin the auspicious occasion, I invite Harshita Kartikeyan and Srinivas to invoke the Almighty. Kritva Navadrida Sankalpam Vitaranto Navasandesham Ghataya Monavasangatanam Rachaya Monavamitihasam Navaman Vantara Shippinaha Rashtra Samunati Kashinaha Tiagadanakari Karata Kriti Nipuna Bayama Vishanaha Kritva Navadrida Sankalpam Kritva Navadrida Sankalpam Kritva Navadrida Sankalpam Thank you, Harshita and Srinivas. A new day is a new beginning and a new hope. A positive thought can change your whole day. Now, I call upon Nath Geetika for thought for the day. Good morning. Thought for the day. Words, pride in our souls, zeal in our hearts. Let's salute our great country on Republic Day. Happy Republic Day. Thank you, Nath Geetika. Images are not only visual, they are also auditory. They involve sensuous impressions, bundles of information that come to us through our senses and mainly through seeing and hearing. We hereby request Pradiksha and Nahagitika to present a glimpse on pride of our nation. India, the country of pride, the nation of heritage and respect. With the world's one of the finest democracy and an exceptional constitution, the parade on Republic Day shows the nation's power and courage. The standard of unity in diversity is maintained only in our country. The timeline right from independence movement till date has taken India's progress to peak. A constitution helps to serve as a set of laws and principles that everyone in the country can agree on as a basis of how they want the country to be governed. It is important as it protects the right of the individual as well as its basic principle that govern the country. It holds the government to the law. It provides distinction of power so that no one part of the government is any more powerful than another. a series of checks and balance so that when laws are made or amended, the government follows the correct procedure to pass a bill. Dr. B. M. Rao Ambedkar, the architect of Indian Constitution and other founding fathers, in framing the Indian Constitution and to pay our tributes to them on this occasion for giving us the best constitution in the world. Every individual in this country has only one aim, this nation's progress. Being the country with highest number of youth in the world, India has got a special respect among all the world countries. It's all because of the constitution that's framed by Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar and several other members of the Constitutional Assembly. This nation shows gratitude to them. The Indian flag is a symbol of our national pride and history. Now, we have the flag hoisting followed by the national anthem. 
We request you all to stand up. Janakadamala Adhinayaka Jayahe Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Ravida Utkada Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhita Ranga तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Our flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of every soldier who died protecting it. Thank you, Pradiksha Nagitika, for invoking the field of patriotism in all of us with the AV. Our constitution is a ray of hope. H for harmony, O for opportunity. P for people's participation and E for equality. Now we have Pradisha to present the preamble of the Indian Constitution. People of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship. Equality of status and of opportunity. And to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity of the nation. In our Constituent Assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this constitution. Thank you, Pradiksha. Any kind of dancing is better than no kind of dancing at all, for dance is joy of movement and heart of life. Now we have a dance performance from our classmate Niveda. Mm -hmm. 
ಹೋಗಂತೆ ಸಂಧಿಯ for your truly graceful performance music gives a soul to the universe links to the mind flight to the imagination and life to everything now let us hear a patriotic melody on account of santikar republic day performed by shri nivas and following him we have nivedha and harshita ಧರ್ಮ ತೂ ಮೇರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೂ ಮೇರ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ತೂ ಮೇರ ಧರ್ಮ ತೂ ಮೇರ ಕರ್ಮ ತೂ ಮೇರ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಹೇತನ್ ಮೆಹಬೂಬ ಮೇರೆ ತುಜ ಪೆ ಕುರುಬಾನ ಹೇತನ್ ಮೆಹಬೂಬ ಮೇರೆ ತುಜ ಪೆ ಕುರುಬಾನ ಹಂಜೇ ಮರಿಯಗಿ ಹಂಜೇ ಮರಿಯಗಿ ವತನ್ ತೀರೇ ದಿಲ್ ದಿಯಾ ಜಾಗಿ ದೇಗಿ ಹೇವತನ್ ತೀರೇ ದಿಲ್ ದಿಯಾ ಜಾಗಿ ದೇಗಿ ಹೇವತನ್ Thank you. 
Wow, the song invoked the feel of patriotism in all of us. Thank you, Srinivas, Niveda, and Harshita. It was a truly majestic performance. The power of speech is the ability to express a lot in few words. Now I call upon Nitish Kanna and Kaushik Jairam for speech in English. Good morning, respected principal, ma'am, teachers, and my dear friends. First of all, I would like to wish you a very happy Republic Day. It is an important day for all the Indians. Today, when a few fellow Indians talk about the fear of losing basic rights that the Constitution has given us, this day becomes more important. Although we celebrate Republic Day as a national festival since our childhood, but we understand the real importance of this day when we grow up. Republic Day is celebrated on 26th January every year. On this day, in the year 1950, Constitution of India came into effect. Our Constitution gives us various rights and responsibilities too. We live in a democratic country where people enjoy their fundamental rights. In society, we have different caste, a religion, or many other things that separate us. But on a broader picture, we all are Indians. India is a land which is a great example of un unity in diversity. The beauty of our country is we have a different language and we also have conflicts and differences. But on national festivals, we all stand as a united force. Over to Koshin. Since childhood, 26 January has been a memorable day for all of us. Many of us may recall this day as a festival and celebrate it in schools by participating in cultural programs and in other activities. For a few of us, this is the day we get up and to watch the Republic Day Parade. The military parade that starts from the Vijay Chowk and culminates at the Red Fort in the National Capital, Delhi. The weapons and the equipments that the army show in the parade reflects the power of the army. On this day, the award and medals of bravery are also given to the armed forces and to the civilians too. The main attraction for the bravery awards is the young kids who are awarded by the Prime Minister for showing ultimate bravery besides being young who have saved the lives of other people. When the helicopters of the armed forces fly, pass the parade area and shower the rose petals on the audience, everyone feels special. The program ends with the national anthem. Whether you are at home or watching the parade personally, you get up to give respect to the national anthem. It's a day that makes us think beyond the caste, creed, religion, state, language and color, and we all feel the same emotion of, of loving our country. Once again, happy Republic Day. Thank you, Nitish and Kaushik. You both have not only helped us reminisce about the beautiful parades, majestic flag hoisting, and prideful award ceremonies, but have also managed to move us with your speech. Now, we have Hedvig Kishore Pashalaria to deliver a speech in Hindi. Namaskar. Sarvar Pratham Aad Sabhi Ko Meri Aur Se 26 January Gantantra Divas Ki Hadik Shubkam Nai. मुझे यह बताते हुए बहुत खुशी हो रही है कि इस बार भारत अपना 73वां गणतंत्र दिवस मना रहा है भारतीय नागरिकों के लिए यह बहुत ही खास दिन है मित्रों हम 26 जनवरी 1950 से हर साल गणतंत्र दिवस मना रहे हैं क्योंकि इस दिन भारत को गणतंत्र देश के रूप में घोषित किया गया था और साथ ही साथ भारत का संविधान लंबे संघर्ष के बाद लागू हुआ था भारत का संविधान बनाने में बाबा साहेब भीमराव आंबेडकर का भी बहुत बड़ा योगदान है और आज हम उन्हें भी याद करते हैं 15 अगस्त 1947 को भारत को आजादी मिली और ठीक 25 साल बाद 26 जनवरी 1950 को भारत डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक बना गणतंत्र का अर्थ है देश में रहने वाले लोगों को अपने प्रतिनिधियों को राजनीतिक नेता के रूप में चुनने का अधिकार हमारे नेताओं और स्वतंत्रता सेनानियों के काफी संघर्ष के बाद हमें आजादी मिली और भारत का अपना संविधान बना जिसमें सभी नागरिकों के मूल्य कर्तव्य 
नियम और कानून का उल्लेख है अपने देश के प्रति उनके बलिदान को कभी नहीं भूल सकते उन्होंने ऐसा किया कि उनकी आने वाली पीढ़िया संघर्ष के बिना जी सके और देश आगे बढ़ा सके इसलिए ऐसे महान अवसर पर उन्हें याद करना चाहिए और उन्हें सलाम करना चाहिए गणतंत्र दिवस के बारे में अपनी भावना को व्यक्त करने का मौका देने के लिए आप सभी को धन्यवाद थैंक यू हेथरी नाउ वी हैव संध्या प्रेजेंट इन पीपीटी फॉलोड बाय द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ब्यूटीफुल आत्मा बहिना नमीरा एंड पूजा legendary women of free india good morning everyone when we speak about freedom fighters we run across the common names like mahatma gandhi nehru chandra bose and so on but we barely remember the extraordinary support and participation given by the reverend ladies and their major role in freedom in this presentation i bring you the lead of freedom the lady freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives to ensure india's freedom Kasturba Gandhi she was the wife of MK Gandhi she too was an indian political activist she involved herself in indian freedom movement along with her husband her main role started in south africa where she protested against the ill treatment of indian immigrants in south africa even though she was chronically ill she continued taking part vigorously gandhi wrote of his wife that she had deliberately lost herself in his work Kamala Nehru she was the wife of Jawaharlal Nehru she was also a political activist she was mainly known for her involvement in the Harilal Gandhi national movement when her husband was arrested to prevent him from delivering the audacious public speech she went in his place to read it out in that exact moment that time it was surprising for women to speak confidently in the mass she also participated eagerly in various women movement any percent even though she was not an indian she was an ardent supporter of indian self rule as part of her theosophy related work she traveled to india where she became interested in indian politics and joined the indian national congress she launched the home rule league campaign for democracy in india let us now admire two posters made by her extremely talented classmates This amazing woman here was Kasturba Gandhi beautifully illustrated by Pooja This extraordinary lady was Lakshmi Sagar she was a revolutionary of the Indian independence movement an officer of the Indian National Army and the minister of women's affairs in the Azad Hind government This poster was made by Hina Namira Thank you happy republic day to every Indian citizen Thank you Sandhya for enlightening us about our brave women ancestors with your innovative and informative presentation. I would also like to thank Kina Namira and Pooja for the amazing drawings. It is a true work of art. Now, we kindly request our principal ma'am to address the gathering. Good morning my dear teachers and my dear great students. Hats off to you on this Republic Day. for having well presented the rich heritage and the value of our country well portrayed and it really gave me uh, the patriotic feel ran through my veins good wishes to all of you and i'm sure that kikani vidya mandir is producing good citizens to the society when you grow old and you become eligible to enjoy all these uh, all the freedom that the country has given to enjoy your rights and your privileges in true spirit and meaning as rightly said by one of your speaker we now understand what is sovereignty fraternity justice so the country is totally for the public for the people the government is for the people and that i want you my dear students to understand that every 
every citizen, every Indian enjoys these rights set by the constitution, which took two and a half years to be drafted. So the consideration they have taken in all fields, inputs from every uh, great personality in varied fields has compiled and the constitution we enjoy today. So my good wishes and happy Republic Day to all. I am sure that students of grade 10 are going to be true citizens with patriotism imbibed in them, running in their blood, That because that is the way you are presented today. The song sung by the students, beautiful. The presentations done, the compilation done, the MC, and each one who has taken the role, I, I can see the spirit of patriotism in them. The teachers who have been behind organizing, well done. So I am so happy and relaxed as a principal that yes, I am sending a good set of citizens to the society to take over the country in the true spirit of the words mentioned in the preamble. So my good wishes to all of you. Thank you, dear students. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I forgot to tell about the dance performed. Everywhere you had taken the art in all forms and uh, whoever has done the artworks, Pooja and uh, Hina Namira, beautifully done. And highlighting the women who were behind this sacrifices for the men to earn the name. That was really a great thought. So you all have real hats off to my students and teachers. I'm a proud principal of having such wonderful students. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, you, ma thank, you, ma thank our faculty and our friends for making the event not only possible, but also memorable. Thank you for your kind support. Make India a global destination. It has an enormous potential to do so. It's time to help our country evolve from a developing country as a society to a free developed one. 28 states, 1,618 languages, 6,400 guests, six major religions, six ethnic groups, and one country. This shows that despite having diverse culture, traditions, languages, religions, we stand together as one. This shows our unity in diversity, and we are proud that we are in a very happy party. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All together, all the staff, principal, ma'am, and vice principal, and everybody made this day a real day for us. On behalf of everybody, I congratulate and thank grade 10 students and the teachers behind them because with the short duration, they could make it possible. 